Okay, so these two lines on here are now going to represent your spine angle where you kind of get the top of the back. So the left arm was before where there wasn't really much of a shift to start with. That knee kind of kicks into the left there quite a bit. And now you're top of the back. So you're, for me, it's just a little bit tilted. Now when you then reset on the way down, you're kind of you getting too far ahead of the ball. Now you've got to kind of back it up and then sort of find that space with the handle, as we said, and you get a bit stuck. And as you said, you felt that kind of sticking up with the shaft, club face wide open, ball's going to sort of curve off to the right there, okay? So that was kind of your top of the back swing there. This one here now has got a little bit of a kind of, just a flow and a movement to that right side as you go back. So when you get to the top of the back swing there, it's a shorter back swing because you're doing a short shot, but at least there your spine's a bit more on the vertical side, okay? So when you then recentre now as on the way down, you're now kind of on top of the golf ball, decent sort of impact position, hands are nicely kind of in front of the club there, in line with that lead arm, heads behind the ball nicely, and you can release through to kind of that position. In this case, you go a bit further forward, let your arms sort of fold up, but that's absolutely fine. You At least here, there's no kind of lifting with the arm or kind of like... Yeah, that kind yeah. of motion where and that, that'll often come in when you're down here and you're trying to find some space your arm now is in this position where can it, you can't suddenly snap your arm over it'll always end up to bend up and then you get that kind of sticking up left arm in the, in the through swing here where that left arm's got that sort of position there you can see sort of he's kind of curving around there a little bit like yeah, get out of the yeah. way so I think if you as much as you may not feel that you're losing space or whatever if you can kind of identify that lack of space position that you get into either by not shifting the swing to start okay just going straight onto your left side or being a bit too close to the ball mm -hmm. or the old famous early extension with the hips where you start firing your lower half towards the golf ball this one with the hips going forward i see more when you start hooking it mm -hmm. yeah and you're trying to stop the ball go left so you shove everything out that way gives you a bigger hook okay the one where you get a bit lazy on your left side it might just be laziness and just or lack of play or rustiness as they yeah, say yeah, yeah. just haven't played you sort of you're missing out a part of the backswing mm. which then means you're as I say trying to change gear you, you're trying to change gear before you put the clutch in yeah so it's got to be a little bit of a shift initially to that one side where you move away and then you recenter it back to the golf ball yeah we don't want to be going kind of like Oop, too early too much onto that one side okay and then just it gives you a bit more space and freedom. So when you are playing your best, you'll be able to get your arms through and feel that kind of release. And just, I think it gives you a bit more of a flow to the swing. Yeah, you kind of go in here and there. It's a bit more of a this way as opposed to... Yeah. Yeah. A bit of stuff. Yeah. Okay, mate? Yeah. Good stuff. We'll have a couple more, mate, and then we'll go through the bag for the other ones. But yeah, definitely kind of get that sensation of uh, at least starting the back to with a little bit of a movement off the golf ball slightly before you recenter it. Back to the golf ball, okay, mate?